Hello, today we're going to be doing standard 5.3, which is on energy eigenstates and their properties. And we're going to be doing problem 5.21 out of McIntyre. The problem states, consider a quantum system with a set of energy eigenstates E sub i. The system is in the state psi equal to 1 over root 30 times E1, plus 2 over root 30 times E2, plus 3 over root 30 times E3, plus 4 over 30 times E4. So here we just have a sum of, 1 over, of n over root 30 times En. And here we have the energies are given by E sub n is equal to n times the first energy eigenstate, the ground state. We want to find the probabilities for measuring the energy eigenvalues and make a histogram similar to this figure in McIntyre. We'll find the expectation value of the energy and then similarly we'll find the uncertainty. So, first to find the probability of each of these eigenstates we can use this given formula in the book which is that the probability of measuring the nth energy eigenstate is equal to the inner product of the E sub n state with the psi state modulus squared, which is just equal to the modulus squared of the coefficient here. And with a quick, quick noting of the definition, it follows immediately that the probability is equal to n squared over 30. Now using this information, we can quickly get the histogram that we want for these probabilities. Here we have the probabilities kind of just stack on one another. We get have 1 over 30, 4 over 30, 9 over 30, and 16 over 30. And this gives us our quick check that this state was normalized, which I should have noted at the beginning. But yes, this is normalized. The probability does sum to 1. All right. So now we want to find the statistical data that we are looking for. So the first thing we need is the expectation value of the energy, which is the expectation value of the Hamiltonian operator because the way to get the time evolution of, of a system is by using the Hamiltonian. So here we get that the expectation value is just the sum of the probabilities times the energies themselves. So we have this sum here and we can plug in n squared over 30 for the probability and n times e1 for the energy value. And when we take the sum we get 10 thirds times e1 is our expectation value. And now if we look back at the histogram here, this actually makes sense. So 10 thirds is a little over 3. So we expect most of the time we're going to get somewhere in either the third or fourth energy. Most of the time we're going to get the fourth energy, which makes sense because right here, the fourth energy value takes up slightly over half. And we barely get above 3, so we're closer to 4 for our expectation value. So this makes, it, this makes perfect sense. Now similarly, we want to find the uncertainty and analyze that. And to do that, we can use the formula here that the uncertainty of the Hamiltonian, so the uncertainty for the energy values, is equal to the expectation value of the Hamiltonian squared, which here we're just going to be taking the energy squared, and we're going to subtract the expectation value squared. And this is all under a square root. And now we have this, and we already have the expectation value of the Hamiltonian here. We can get this value quickly by just squaring this value, but here we would need to find this value first. So here we can calculate this, and we just get the sum again, but instead we have that the energy value, E sub n, is now squared in our sum. So when we plug in the new values, we still have n squared over 30, but now we have an n squared times the E1 squared for our En squared. And when we take the sum, we get that the expectation value here of h squared is equal to 59 fifths times e1 squared. Now that we have both these values, we can get our desired uncertainty, which is that the, the uncertainty is equal to the square root of 59 fifths e1 squared minus 109 e1 squared. We can bring the e1 squared out, factor that out and get an e1, and then when we collect terms here, we get that the uncertainty is the square root of 31 over 45 times the e1. And this is approximately equal to 0 0.83 times the ground state E1. Now if we look back over here, our expectation value is somewhere between the third and fourth energy eigen, eigenvalue, the eigenstate here. And then our uncertainty is approximately 1 on both sides, which makes sense that most of the time we're going to get 3 or 4. We're going to get somewhere in that range, but we might get 2 occasionally as well, and 1 is very unlikely. So that'll be it for this problem. Thank you.